In this brief video, I'll cover the process involved in replacing the brush roll of a Shark Navigator vacuum. This particular model is UV440, but the process should be identical or similar for other vacuums in the Navigator series. For convenience, I first separated the motorized floor brush from the rest of the vacuum. Disassembly of this unit does require some specialized hardware, specifically Torx Star Security Bits T10 and T15. I didn't have any of these in my tool collection, so I picked up this set on Amazon. What I really like about these is the quarter inch hexagonal shank, the three inch length, which is more than adequate for accessing most recessed screws, and the fact that they're magnetized. There are a total of 10 screws that need to be removed. First, there are two relatively small screws located near the rear wheels. There are also two large screws in the recessed area directly behind these. There are four other screws, which are fairly obvious. And finally, two screws that are cleverly hidden underneath the small roller wheels at the front. I inserted a small flat blade screwdriver underneath the wheels and pried upward to remove them. With all the screws removed, carefully place the motorized floor brush in an upright position and then lift off the cover. To remove the brush roll, simply apply upward force and slip it off of the belt. Slip the new brush roll into the belt, ensuring that the teeth of the belt mesh with the teeth of the white pulley wheel. Press the brush roll into place, adjusting the black square ends of the brush roll if necessary so they fit properly into the slots. Check to make sure the wiring is out of the way and won't get pinched during the reassembly process. Reposition the cover, flip the unit over, and replace all the screws. If using a cordless drill, it's probably a good idea to adjust the clutch in order to avoid over-tightening and the possibility of cracking the plastic. Finally, snap the small roller wheels back into place. Hand force alone seemed inadequate so I ended up using the blade of a flat screwdriver to press on each end of the metal rod until it clicked into place. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please consider a like and subscribe. Links to both the Torx bit set and replacement brush roll can be found in the video description section.